coffee doesn't keep me awake. <laughs> if you're out there and you're like, coffee doesn't keep me awake, take a moment and really think about it. So we're at my parents. We're gonna have some, a roast dinner for my dad's birthday. Uh, it looks really good. And there's fudge again. So yeah, we're gonna be destroyed by great food. Destroyed by great food. Smash that like button with fudge. Have to be assembled. It, yes. It's really easy yes. to assemble. <laughs> yeah, it's really easy to assemble. It's almost the same. That's beautiful, thank you. Hey, so we're back from my parents now. That roast was amazing. My mom cooked the roast in a turkey bag, but she cut it down to size. Man, that was a good roast. All the moisture was just trapped in the oven bag. It was fantastic. We brought home that we brought home like a half pound of fudge. That's no good. It's not a good thing to have around. It's not good for you at all. And it's it's easy to just eat it. So when that bird was on me yesterday, I had a little bit of a fear. Like, um, not like, oh my God, I've gotta get this bird off me fear, but I did, in my mind, imagine that bird attacking my face with its bird claws and big old bird beak. It was a little freaky to have a bird on me, but at the same time, it was a really nice feeling like, there's a bird on me. Like, you can feel his little bird feet walking around on you and it's heavier than you'd think. It's like, it's about the weight of a chihuahua, chihuahua, but it's a bird. And uh, that thing was smart. I was surprised. It was just, you, you could look at it in the eye and see that it knew what was going on. So that was, that was pretty neat. I watch the birds around my bird feeder sometime and a lot of them are dum-dums, but that bird was no dum-dum. You ever had birds? You ever hold birds? I've never had birds or held birds. So I asked my mom if she had a tape recorder. So I brought home a Tascam 424, but it turns out that it doesn't work, um, and the tape recorder didn't work either. Inside of tape players and tape recorders, there's almost always belts, and the belts wear out over time. So, uh, but it was it was kind of neat to have a tape player device in my hand. It's been it's been years and years and years since I even considered playing a tape. I emailed Tascam to see if I could get a replacement belt. I think I could probably open the thing up and change the belt. I mean, somebody can. If somebody can, then I probably can. So the main thing I wanted to talk about is I wanted to just put it out there and ask you guys, you ever drink decaf? Like I'm a caffeine guy during the day. Like I wake up, I have some caffeine, I have some caffeine around lunchtime, usually maybe a cup of coffee when I get home from work. But lately I've been buying decaf capsules for my Keurig because I love coffee, but uh, the older I get, the more it actually keeps me awake. And I think it always did, but when I was younger, I'd be like, coffee doesn't keep me awake. <laughs> if you're out there and you're like, coffee doesn't keep me awake, then I'd like you to take a moment and really think about how much coffee keeps you awake, because it probably does. It is caffeine. I spent at least my 20s being like, oh, I can drink coffee all night. It doesn't, it doesn't keep me up or anything. And I realize now that I was at least partially acting cool <laughs> or whatever. So uh, anyway, Nowadays, I do enjoy some decaf, like late at night when it's not a great time for a fully caffeinated beverage. It's still a good time for a hot drink and some decaf coffee's good. Amanda likes hot chocolate and cider and stuff like that, but I generally like black coffee, so decaf. I've tried a few different capsules for the Keurig of decaf so far. Um, none, of them have, none of them have been spectacular, but they've, they've been all right. Um, if I come across one that's truly great, I'll do a video about it, but it takes a better quality bean to make a lower quality decaf. So in general, the better quality beans go to better quality caffeinated coffee. And that's why we don't get a great decaf usually. I need to do some research. I haven't actually Googled it. I've just been grabbing different brands of decaf. You know, I haven't done any real research. Maybe there's something great online. So question, do you guys like coffee enough to drink decaf just when you'd like to have a hot beverage? I think most people would probably go for a hot tea or something like that. If they want something late at night that's not like full coffee strength caffeine. So anyway, let me know what you think about it down there. And subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Hit the bell, smash that like button, all that stuff. I'm Bird Snake. Thanks for watching. <laughs> ah! That scared me so bad. <laughs> Ha 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 ha.
I hope I got that on camera. I think I, I think I pointed it at the ceiling. Yeah, he got scared. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck.